you regularly scheduled book content. Woohoo! I got my blueberry creamer back. It's been a few weeks since I've been able to find it. And um, it's in my master's mug. If you guys don't know, I do live in Augusta. And um, so I have a few of these cute little master's mugs. My voice is not at its best right now. So we're going to do this to this, and we're going to make do. Um, a little water. Okay, what are we talking about this morning? I had an amazing, amazing weekend, but I'm ready to get back to talking about the books I'm reading. And I read, if you guys watched my month in review in April, tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow. I believe her name is Gabrielle Zeva. Pretty sure that's her name. I'm going to obviously put it in the, the comment section in case I pronounced her name cor incorrectly. I have feelings about this book. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready to do this this morning? I have been on the hunt for this amazing, amazing book that's going to blow me away for a few months now. I've been talking about it. 28 Summers came really close. It was really good. But nothing has like knocked my socks off in a few months. And I thought tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow was going to be it. Because it came voraciously highly recommended to me by multiple people. I have seen it all over my TikTok. It was a six month wait at the library. I was ready to love this book. Like, I was ready to love it. Oh, my curls are curling today. I'm sorry, y'all. I wasn't doing a blow dry this morning. I wasn't doing it. So, y'all can have curls. Um, but, as I was saying, I was ready to, like, make this book my personality type love this book. I, I was just, I was so sure. I was so sure. That I was going to love it. Because I loved what it was about. It was a group of friends who fall in love. Who are gamers and create games. And like I'm a gamer. I have a big group of friends. I just knew this book was for me. It wasn't for me. And it really made me sad honestly. For a few different reasons. <laughs> But before I get too much into it, because I know that there's going to be people here who love this book, and I understand why you love this book. I do. Let me tell you a little bit about me. I am a married, 30, late 30-year-old 30 mother who reads and has always read throughout her life to escape. That is the reason why I read. You can always tell how my mental health is a month, I say. By how many books I've read. Not like most people where the less you've read the more mentally ill you've been. The more I've read the more intrusive my thoughts have been. Because I read to escape. Started out being young you know going through divorced parents and, and switching around and stuff. Uh, different sets of rules and different households type things. I found reading then, and I mean, Tolkien was my escape. I read all Lord of the Rings, all of The Hobbit, all of the Harry Potter. Um, I read fantasy because my life was so not bad. I, I do not like to say that I had a bad growing up because there are people who have it so much worse. But I had a very tumultuous um, youth. I don't want to say childhood, but more like youth years. So, um, yeah, I just had a very unique upbringing and, um, it's not unique to me. Many, many divorced children live this way, but so 
I say that to say my reading has always been an escape. That's why I read so much fantasy. I love it because I can pretend to be an elven princess running through a forest and not wherever I actually am. So when people are recommending books to me, a lot of times they will see a character or multiple characters or a situation that reminds them of me. And they're like, oh, you should really read this because this person is just like you. Or you should really read this because these situations are like things you've been through. That's not necessarily what I want to read, guys. And I think that that is the consistent issue that I ran into with Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow. Was that it was a group of people that I related to very closely. I know someone like Sam. I knew someone like Sadie. And um, it just hit way too close to home for me. To the point where I was like cringing reading it a little bit. Like, oh yeah, that, that tracks kind of thing. As well as these dysfunctional characters just have the worst decision-making skills there's ever been. Once again, tracks really close to home with some of my friend group. And I don't know, it just wasn't... <sighs> trying to word it correctly. Because I don't think this is one of those that's really difficult where I don't think it's a bad book. <clears throat> I think that if you like kind of sad, depressive um, books about humanity and people who make very people choices, like this is not a book where you're like, he would have never made that choice. No, this is a book where all of the characters make the exact shitty choices you think that these characters are going to make. And it's unrequited love. Like a lifetime of unrequited love. And there's no resolution to it. And I don't know, guys. It just wasn't for me. And I feel really... I feel a little down. I mean, yes, the book in general is sad. But then I finished the book feeling even more down. Because I had wanted to like this book so much. And now I'm just like, well, another, not, not crap book. The book is not crap. The book is well written. The book definitely probably speaks to a lot of people. Um, I like the characters. They were well thought out. But the story, the story was just, not what I was in the mood for at the time that I read it. Who told me that this was a love story? Because I want to talk. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Because this was not a love story. And maybe it was like, um, like I said, unrequited love story. Sure. But I don't know, guys. I am looking for that elusive, really, really good book. So please, if you have a favorite book and I've never covered it and you've never seen me talk about it on the channel, please drop it in the comments because I am desperate. I have read most of the works of Brandon Sanderson. Um, so if it's a Brandon Sanderson novel, I'm working on it. I have a novella, Elantris, and Lost Metal left. Um, heard Lost Metal's really good. I don't know if it's going to leave me with the feeling that I'm wanting, though, because I've heard it also is very sad and aggravating towards the end. Um, and so, I don't know if it's going to leave me with the feeling that I'm seeking, but I am. I plan to read it very soon, if not this month, the next. Um, I have so much to read right now. I've got so much on my plate. Um... It's one of those things where I put a bunch of holds at the library and they all came in at the same time. So I think I have seven books from the library right now. Matching that with me having some post-concert, not depression, but post-concert down, you know what I mean? Where you've been looking forward to this thing for so long. 
you've spent so much money on it, you've planned so hard on it, and now it's over. I feel like this is going to be like a 14, 15 book month, guys. I do. May is going to be a big one <laughs> for me. I only read 10 last, or 11, I think 11 last month. Uh, just because I had so much going on with getting ready for this concert, as well as my husband was going to a major LARP. And I had a bunch of stuff to get ready for that. It was master's time, aka spring break for the kids at school here. So I only did 11 last month, but this is going to be a big month. I am already calling it because I've already pretty much finished my first book and it is the second of the month. So, yeah, um, lots of books coming this month. And, um, yeah, thanks for taking this ride with me, you guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing for those of you that have. Every time I check my subscriber count and it gets a little bit higher, I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's amazing. It makes me so happy. And we're going to find it, guys. We are going to find that elusive, wonderful read that I am searching for right now. I have, I think it's called The Fifth Season in the library right now. I think I'm going to give it a read. Um, I think I'm going to give that one a read. That one has the potential to be my elusive, wonderful book. I have heard amazing things about the fifth season. So, really excited to try that one. I know it's high fantasy. And, um, yeah. I love you guys so, so much. I'm not saying don't give tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I'll try. Just be prepared for a very sad read very frustrating read for like why are they making these piss poor decisions <laughs> but that the characters are well developed I mean it wasn't awfully written or anything so I love you guys so so much I hope you're having an amazing week and I will see you back here on Saturday <laughs> bye